So you join us today down at Buzzard Valley Fisheries Fishing Vineyard Lake, which is their specimen water. It's the back end of autumn, and I found this time of year can be a really tricky time of year. We have fished this lake before. I did nine nights in the summer. I was lucky enough to get some of the 18 from there. Hopefully, we'll have a few to show for camera. Really looking forward to the session. We've got 72 hours ahead of us. There's me, Ashley, and Paul. <laughs> and obviously during this video, we'll show you the tactics and how we go about catching some of the fish that are in here. The average size of fish for the lake is anything between 17 and 20 pound. However, there is a 30 pounder in here known as the Big Common, which goes up to 37, and also some absolutely stunning ghosties as well, and hopefully we can get amongst them. Tactics wise for this lake, it's really suited to the washing line method, but I think what I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna bait lightly. The fish aren't gonna be feeding very heavily, I don't think, so I'm gonna go in with a little bit of boily crumb, a little bit of maize, a couple of boilies to sort of spread, so little little inconspicuous traps, not too much bait. I'm going to start with two Ronnie rigs on one, on two rods, and then go for a solid bag on the other. And then whichever one's working, obviously I'll switch over to all three. So we'll get the rods out now, and hopefully, yeah, we'll have something to show you. So that's the first fish of the session for me. Yeah, lovely little uh, mid-double common. Just came as Ashley was cooking tea, um, and it's absolutely chucking it down now, so let's get it slipped back, and uh, yeah, Ashley can start tea again, and uh, we can get some grub. Hopefully, this one will be the first of a few for all of us. <laughs> and Ashley's pulling face in the background. <laughs> Cheers, mate. That's fish number two. Yeah, this one coming over a leg clip and a Ronnie rig. Yeah, and a little pink uh, pink pop-up over some boily and hemp and maize. Probably a similar stamp, maybe slightly bigger than the, uh, than the last one. Obviously going really well so far. Uh, happy days. Let's get the slip, slip one back. Ashley's gonna make us a big fry up. Uh, yeah, and a lot to do.
first one for this session for me. I'm using the washing lines with solid bags, just that little bit of an edge. And yeah, seems to be working. Well, we couldn't have asked for a better start really to have that many fish between us all in our first first night or first 24 hours is uh, is absolutely fantastic as i did say the, the weather is changing so whether or not that shuts them off i don't know we have had sort of a, a nice bit of um late oh one's just boshed right out over my spot uh yeah we have seen a little bit of a uh, late sun which which is really good yeah we have got a busy day though ahead of us so we've got bonesy what up fish fans he's coming down to just sort of meet a, and obviously chat with 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 us as team members uh, we've also got john shoe jones coming down who's also part of the uh, signet tracker and aqua brand he's doing some filming with us some sort of rig tutorials and things like that and then we've got the head of media coming down so we're meeting all of them for the first time so that'll be really good obviously fishing wise yeah we're not gonna have a chance to sort of fish properly because we're doing loads of filming um but yeah really looking forward to meeting them before everyone arrived, new rigs were tied and fresh baits were put on. It wasn't until late afternoon when the fish began to feed. Nice little scaly one. So after a yeah quiet morning, the sun came out. It's now mid afternoon, and um, yeah, mine and Paul's rods rattled off near enough within five minutes of each other. This was a result of mine coming over a solid bag to uh, yeah Ronnie rig tactics in there with the wide gate size four hooks. And yeah, Paul's the same method as well on solid bags, and he's got a bigger one, uh, one known as the Dolphin, around about sort of low low twenty, really nice fish. So. Um, yeah, we'll get this one slipped back and then we'll show you that one. So one last look before she goes. There you go. So let's go and have a look at all this. Thank you very much.
So that's the second one for me this session, using the washing line tactics again. Yeah, chuffed with this one. This will be definitely be one for the future. I think this one actually got stopped back in March, May time. So it's certainly putting on the weight. Lovely little one. So what a productive day. It was great to meet all the team yeah, and all the people that work for, for Signet. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, um, good to meet Bonesy and, and all the rest of the lads as well. Fishing wise, we've had an absolutely fantastic start. Um, most of the bites are, are coming to solid bags. I have had uh, one or two on Ronnie's, but the majority now are, are coming to solid bags and that's the same for, for Paul and Ashley as well. So I'm definitely going to switch all three over to solid bags. Um, last night as well, they were showing just in the middle of the lake. Um, so it seems to be that we're sort of getting day bites in the margins and the odd one here and there. And then at night time, it looks like they're venturing in, into the middle of the lake. So the plan for tonight is I'm gonna cast, um, yeah, me and Ashley, we're gonna cast three rods right into the middle of the lake and um, yeah, dust solid bags and see and see what happens. Third one for me now. I shine the light in your face now. Sorry, mate. <laughs> I wonder it took off out. Well, what a productive morning for all three of us. This one rattled off about an hour before first light, everyone asleep. Yeah, a nice little angry one now. Hopefully, one of the bigger girls will come. Obviously, Ashley's had a 20. Paul's had a nice 20 as well. And uh, yeah, sort of mid, mid doubles for me. This one probably the pick of the bunch. So there's two rigs that we've been using for the majority of the session down here at Buzzard Valley. And the reason why we're using these, so it is very firm out there. There's no real sort of silty areas. There's no weed or anything like that, but they do present extremely well over whatever bottom you are using. So the first one that we're using is, yeah, solid bag. And the actual rig that we're using for the solid bag, we're using Ronnie rigs. And that is just tied off with 30 pound uncoated braid and that's the same braid that, um, that you can use to spill your lines basically. Uh, yeah I'm using a little bit of shrink tube just to cover that runny, uh, runny swivel. Uh, the reason why I use shrink tube is just so that it doesn't sort of move about when you're packing that into a solid bag. And yeah the hook size so I'm using a size 4 hook and that's the wide gate version and that's a beak point. Hook bait wise just a little yellow pop up in there 
and then I'm using the bag stems. You can obviously prepare these, prepare loads in advance. And I've got a flat pair, three and a half ounce lead. And just that little bit heavier just ensures that you get really solid hook cold. And then bag size wise, so I'm using the large bags, just trimming them down a little bit. And they have been absolutely great. And they have given us the majority of the bikes during the session. I have had other runs though. Um, and that is again just using a leg clip and a Ronnie rig so again very similar um, between that and the bag the only real difference between the two with this one I am using the soft coated braid uh, why do I like that material I just find I'm using the 35 pound material version of this and I just love that sort of a, in between a semi stiff and a soft coated um, braid with that extra sort of 35 pound material it's just a slightly bit stiffer than, than your standard soft one and I absolutely love it. A couple of bit of putty obviously just to pin that pop up down. Got a kicker on there this time, that's the medium size and I'm using a size 4 XS Klinger hook in the big point version and again the hook holds have been absolutely fantastic on that but at the moment they do seem to be preferring those solid bags. So if you do uh, ever come to Buzzard Valley Vineyard Lake feel free to give those a try or if you're fishing over a firm bottom, uh, a solid bag, or a little Ronnie rig with that soft coated material will be absolutely perfect. So I did um, mention last night that we thought it was the fish that Paul caught, the, uh, known as the bottlenose dolphin. And yeah, it is. Even though it's a obviously recapture, really, really happy with it. Such a stunning, long, scaly, sort of old looking carp. I have had another one. That's a, a little stocky common. I will, sh will show you the other side of this one as well, because it is really nice. So I think that brings the total now. I think it's 15 or 16 fish between us. Yeah, and that's the other side. Great, great session. Happy days. Two fish were the last ones to be caught during our session, despite us trying zigs and various other methods for the final day. All three of us had had a brilliant time down on Vineyard Lake, and with plans to revisit in December, we couldn't wait to return. <laughs>